Good morning, Steeler Nation. Breaking football news, NFL news, Pittsburgh Steelers breaking news. Ian Rappaport, hashtag Steelers QB, Kenny Pickett, has cleared concussion protocol and will play Sunday. So have Pat Frymuth, tight end, and cornerback Levi Wallace. G'day, guys. Welcome back to Steeler Nation Australia. If you like my content, hit that sub hit that like. I'm trying to get to, we'll go for 850 or 855 or whatever. I'm trying to increase the subs. I'm trying to grow the community. But guys, this is huge news. I woke up, I missed the news every single time. I'm 14 hours in front, but I'm about nine hours, 10 hours behind in the news cycle. A few hours ago, it was told that uh, Kenny Pickett uh, Fryermuth and Levi Wallace have cleared concussion protocols. First of all, shout out to their health. Um, hopefully, they, they, they can get back at it because Fryermuth has been, been through quite a few concussions. We don't want to see it in the game. It, it, it is part of the game, but it's hard to see when someone goes down. But however, guys, this is huge. This is crazy. This is so good for the game Sunday versus the Dolphins. Kenny Pickett, Fryermuth, and Levi Wallace. Now, first of all, Kenny Pickett coming back is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. He's only played, I believe, like what, one and a half games or something like that, six quarters. He's still only really new to the offense and he can get better 100%. So, and at the time too, when Kenny Pickett did go down with that injury, I didn't think that he was, you know, concussed. He looked a bit a bit winded or knocked out or whatever, but he got up, uh, he started practicing the last few days and now he's been officially cleared. So we can move on. And hopefully he is 100% to go. But there's going to be a big game, guys. It's going to be Kenny Pickett versus Tua. Kenny Pickett versus Tua in Miami. And I think this might be a breakout game. This could be a breakout game where let's just let let the offense go. As, as, as much as Matt Canada, I'm not a big fan of him. Let it go. Throw the football down the field to Claypool. Throw the football down to DJ. Throw the football down to Pickens. Get the offense involved. They're your three stars, your three receivers that can, can work into this offense. Get the football to move if you can. Try and get the football to Connor Haywood. He played excellent versus the Bucks. Then in the run game, let's see a one-two punch. Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. Can this team put on a big show? That's what we're waiting to see. We are waiting to see if Kenny Pickett and the Steelers and the offense can put on a big show. Because right now, they're averaging about 15, 16, 17 points a game. And it's quite embarrassing. They need to get better. The offensive line needs to get better. The run scheme needs to get better. And I want to see them put up points. Put up points and put a lot of pressure on the Miami Dolphins. Can we get a game where we go out there and score 30 points and put more pressure on the Dolphins to win? Or will it be a scrap fight once again where the Steelers might win 23 to 20? I just want to see some competitive football the team's getting back at it and bringing Kenny Pickett back, hopefully for a full game this time. If he can, if he can stay healthy, knock on wood. Let's see what he can do. But he's got all the talent there. He has all the receivers there with talent. It just depends if Matt Canada can scheme uh, these receivers open. Now, in the other tweet we have here, Fryermuth and Levi Wallace. Fryermuth coming back here is going to be fantastic. Hopefully, he can start to 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 sit down in routes in the middle of the field or, you know, the escapability when Pickett's on the run, they can find move together. We need to build that connection. The Steelers need to build their Pickett to fry and move to connection. That's what I need. That's what we need to see. And lastly, guys, Levi Wallace coming out of concussion protocol as well is, is a big plus too, okay? The secondary held their own. Uh, guys like uh, Jones, uh, Riley, um, who was the other blokes? Uh, Mollette. And, and uh, James Pierre, they held their own last week against Brady. So bringing back a starter in Levi Wallace, and I do hope as well that uh, Akila Witherspoon is ready to go because you have Terrell and Minka working their way back up into, into the lineup. So it says here via the injury report that, yeah, Kenny Pickett is full practice, Cameron Sutton's full practice, Akila Witherspoon is limited, uh, Levi Wallace is full practice, Minka full practice with his knee, James Pierre, limited practice with his hip. Miles Jack, full practice. Mason Cole, full practice. So a lot of these guys are banged up. But I do hope the secondary can go out there and play the exact same way they play with Brady. Just shut them down, man. It'd be fantastic. 
Now, James Daniel had the ankle, but he's full practice. Stephen Sims, hamstring, did not play. It looks like Stephen Sims will be out uh, for this game, which is, which sucks, man, because he was becoming I, – I, I wish him the best. I hope that Stephen Sims can become 100% healthy, that he can, can work his way into the offense and work his way into special teams. So he might be out. Now, Fryman, full practice. Chris Wormley, full practice. Uh, Cam Cameron Haywood uh, had a rest day. And Ogan Joby, uh, knee, full practice. So – our Pittsburgh Steelers are getting back to health, and we still haven't got back Kazi. We haven't implemented Austin yet, and we haven't got back uh, TJ Watt. But that is big news. That is great news, Steeler Nation. Kenny Pickett, Fry Move, Levi Wallace, all clear concussion, and it, it's go time. It is go time. Steelers versus Dolphins. They are yet the underdog one more time. But you know what? I kind of like the Steelers in this game. I think they've got a bit of moxie about them now. I think the Claypool that Claypool woke up. I think these guys are ready to fight. I think Cameron Haywood will have them ready to fight. I think Miles Jack will have them, have them ready to fight. I see a bit more, you know, passion and positivity in this fan base and in the team, in the team for sure. So thanks, guys, for checking out Steel Nation Australia. I'll see you later. Hit that sub, hit that like on the way out.